a dark and twisted true story. For Halloween, my two friends, Jack, Tommy, and I flipped a coin to decide who would go inside of the Tate House. The Tate House used to belong to Charlie Tate, who was a well-known serial killer in our small town of Creepyville. Rumor had it that the Tate House was where he took his victims after killing them in the nearby woods. But after searching the home, no bodies were ever found. Unfortunately, after flipping the coin, I was the one who would be going inside of the house. Of course, being a house that was abandoned, it was completely dark, which made me think twice about being in that house, especially alone. For some stupid reason, I yelled out if anyone was home. I guess it was just by habit. At first, my plan was to just stand by the door for a few minutes, then come out and lie to my friends that I walked through the entire house, but they were watching through the window, making sure I followed through. As I walked through the living room, the floor felt weak and unstable, and before I knew it, I had fell through the floor landing in the basement and on top of a pile of skeletons. Then, a ghostly figure appeared floating near the ceiling. You better leave now, or you will become one of the skeletons, said the face of Charlie Tate. I screamed, then ran out of the house as fast as my legs could carry me. Later, when I told my parents what I had found in the basement, they didn't believe me, telling me to stop telling lies. My friends didn't believe me either. So till this day, I never spoke about it ever again. again. All my life, I had been a loner and never had any friends, not even one. But to be honest, I preferred it that way. I loved being alone. So when Halloween rolled around, I decided to go trick or treating by myself. An hour went by and I was almost done making my rounds and only had one more house to go to. And that house belonged to old lady Helga Allen. The weird old lady is what they called her. No one ever went to her house and she was rarely seen outside. She would just sit there in her old rocking chair staring out of her window while holding her cat. And as a matter of fact, there was not even one time where I didn't see her sitting in that chair and staring out of her window. That's why I nicknamed her Lady in the Window. Rumor had it that after her husband, Tom, left her for another woman, she had became depressed just staring out of that window 24 hours a day. I was a pretty brave kid and was not afraid of her like the other kids in my neighborhood. Actually, I felt quite sorry for her. So I walked up to her door and rang the doorbell. Fifteen minutes had passed and she still hadn't come down to answer the door. So I turned the doorknob and entered. Immediately, there was a stench that hit me as soon as I walked in and it was so strong that it made me nauseous. So I yelled out to her to let her know that she had a visitor, but she never responded. It was so dark I could barely see a thing, but somehow I made my way 
up the stairs and headed for the room that she was in. I opened the door slowly, facing the back of her and her cat. Um, Miss Allen, I said, but still no answer. So I walked slowly over to her and tapped her on the shoulder. Then, all of a sudden, her head fell to the floor and was mummified. I gasped. Mrs. Allen had been dead for years. It was later found out that her husband, Mr. Allen, had killed her, decapitating her, then sitting her in that chair. And the cat that she had been holding was only a stuffed animal. Needless to say, my Halloween was ruined. Ruined. Halloween that we will never, ever forget. Boy. 